What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day and happy Memorial Day to all my fellow vets out there, my brothers in arms. Uh, everyone say a prayer for those uh, that are still out there in harm's way right now. We definitely appreciate all that you do. Now, I've been having a pretty interesting weekend. I've been uh, replacing the carpet with uh, hardwood floors, so it is a pain in the butt. If anyone's ever done it, it is not fun. That's what I've been doing the last couple of days. I'm trying to get the floor done today if possible. It probably won't be possible. But yes, that's what I've been doing most of this weekend. It is not fun. Carpet is nasty when you pull it up from a house that you have never lived in for more than six months. And other people have lived in it and have messed it up. So yes, thank you guys for, for, for this awesome carpet choice. Now let me tell you guys what's going on in gaming news right now. So it looks like there is a rumor that has just come down that a gold PlayStation 4 Slim may be launching soon. Again, this is just a rumor, so take it at face value, but you can actually see this in your face because there's actually a photo of it. So it does look like a Reddit user, uh, Mar Mario, Mar Maro 8. <laughs> <laughs> some of these names are just so interesting yeah he did post an image of what looks like it is a gold uh, one terabyte PlayStation 4 Slim uh, they did say that it might be coming out sometime in June so if you guys are looking at June 9th and getting a gold PlayStation 4 this is probably going to be the one that you're going to want I personally think it's kind of dumb but that's just me I mean why would I get rid of my PlayStation 4 Pro and get a gold PlayStation 4 Slim when I could just take a regular PlayStation 4 and just spray paint it with some cheap Walmart gold. I mean, I mean, I mean, you can buy it. It's just that you could just. No, no. Now, let me tell you guys what's going on in other gaming news right now. Uh, this is involving E3. It does like the PlayStation E3 Experience 2017 announcement ad has been uh, detailed by Sony. So they will be having a press conference live in theaters on June 12th. Uh, so they do this roughly every year. They come out there and they say, hey, if you want to watch the PlayStation Experience in an actual theater, you can do it. So they have a certain amount of uh, theaters that they're going to have that allow you to actually go and watch them. And if you do go to uh, one of the theaters, that are showing the PlayStation Experience 2017, uh, you can actually uh, get the tickets for free. Everybody likes free. So if you do go, you're actually going to get an actual poster and then you're going to get some uh, number 76 from PlayStation Collectible Card Series. I didn't know there was a PlayStation Collectible Card Series because nobody wants to get collectible cards from a console. Maybe there's like five, five, five. So yes, uh, they will be actually doing this on uh, Tuesday, May 30th at 10 a.m. where you can actually start registering to get your tickets. So that is always good. I would prefer to just watch it at home if I'm going to go all the way up to Denver to go watch it if they are allowing you to watch it in Denver. I couldn't get tickets last time because uh, everyone sold out and I had to be on a waiting list. So yeah, no, I'm not going to do it this year. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And in my final bit of gaming news, it does look like Nintendo Switch has increased their production to 18 million for the first year. Now, they already increased their estimates previously, but they are increasing them again because people actually want to buy the Nintendo Switch. I know, I know, I know. People want to buy the Nintendo Switch. I don't know why, but people want to buy it. Wait, I bought it, so I probably shouldn't be insulting it. Yeah, uh, it does look like uh, it's more of a success than they originally thought it was going to be. And they do, they have actually increased their uh, production model to 18 million for this whole entire year. Now, uh, that will bring it somewhere around 20.72 million units uh, for this whole entire first year on the market, which makes it a pretty awesome success. Now, it's really hard to get a, play, a Nintendo Switch. For some strange reason, Nintendo keeps forgetting how to make consoles, increasing their estimates. I get it. I get it. They like to build hype. Now, a lot of people are actually comparing this to the original Nintendo Wii, which is sales are actually better than the original Nintendo Wii, which is one of the best selling systems of all time. So that's no small feat. But you have to remember something about the Nintendo Wii that I have to bring to your attention. See, Nintendo Wii came out and everybody wanted one. People were like willing to like murder each other to get their hands on this console. However, once the nostalgia wore off in like year two, Everyone started going, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's like no games for this system. And then we just fell off the face of the map. So if you're going to buy a Nintendo Switch, just realize that they aren't getting most of the new games that are coming out for everybody else. 
No Destiny 2, none of the new games that people want to get, the new Call of Duties. They don't have any of it. They just have their Nintendo exclusives. And people just go, Nintendo exclusives are good enough. They are good enough for a little bit. But after this first year, I don't think Nintendo has any big games that are going to be coming out that are going to make people want to buy this system above all else. This is a good backup system. It is not a good primary system. There's no Netflix. No Netflix and chill for you. None. None. They don't have any of the major apps that you can have. The hard drive space is putrid. So, yes, they, there are bad things about the Nintendo Switch. It's a great secondary console. But if you're going to make this your main console, where you're like, at least I can watch Netflix. No, you can't even do that. So, just putting you guys on notice. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. And I'll holler at y'all later because I have to go do more carpet and pulling staples out of the ground and getting stabbed up. But that's okay. Glory to God, I'm actually able to start doing some stuff. Yes, thank you, Jesus.